Hey guys, if you have an AquaCal heat pump set up for your pool and you also have the Pentair IntelliCenter, which I have, you may be experiencing some problems with the AquaCal. I'm gonna show you what the problem is that I'm having. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pool. Okay, pool is on. Now I'm gonna go to the heat. Ninety two. See, you guys notice how it turns on for about thirty seconds and turns back off, and the compressor is not kicking on. I want you to pay attention to that. Thirty seconds on the nose. So we primarily use the heat pump to heat up the jacuzzi, and during the winter, that's a necessity. If you know what I mean. So I figured, ah, I got it. I didn't turn the spa mode off. So let's try that now. There we go. The pump kicked to a higher gear. Let's see what happens. It still kicked off after 30 seconds. You just saw that, right? And it goes right back to kicking back on. I'm gonna go ahead and see if the water that's coming out of the jets in the spa is getting hotter. I know it's not the number one way to check. You're supposed to check in other areas, but I'm just gonna try to keep it simple here for my diagnosis. No, the water is not getting warmer whatsoever. So naturally this gets pretty frustrating. I had the pool built last year. I know high class problems. However, I called the company that built the pool and they sent out a warranty claim to AquaCal for a service technician to come. So it took about two weeks for a service technician to come because that's how backed up they are. And when the service tech came, he tried everything he possibly could and then he ended up calling a buddy. The buddy ended up telling him that for whatever reason, Pentair's brand new firmware, the 2.0006, for some reason is messing with the Aqua Cal heat pumps to kick on and off, on and off. So what did I do? I called Pentair and I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna take forever because I hate to say it, Pentair is notorious for taking forever to talk to on the phone. So I was like, ah. But great news, I was only on the phone waiting for about 15 minutes. The service rep from Pentair told me exactly what to do and it fixed the problem. Thank you, God, I'm gonna show you right now. I go into my Pentair setup, the IntelliCenter. I go to settings. From settings, I go all the way down to reboot this panel. This is very important, pay attention to this step. I reboot the panel. It counts down. Bottom right corner here, you have to push this fast. You'll see it. It'll pop, there it is, push it. Switch your firmware version. Change it from 2.006 to your old one, 1.064. Accept the change and allow the system to boot up. Going to my spa. I have the heats on the spa set. I put it at 104 degrees, allowing everything to switch over. My AquaCal has restarted. Uh, that was my normal AC compressor, sorry. Let's see if the AquaCal compressor kicks on. I do want you to notice it stayed on a lot longer than 30 seconds, and I did switch to the old firmware. Did you guys hear that? Sweet music to my ears. Most likely, 
my pool will now get heat. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's getting warmer. <laughs> it's getting warmer. I know this isn't the correct way to check it, but man, it's starting to work. Thank you. All right, so if you have a pool with the IntelliCenter system and an AquaCal heat pump, for whatever reason, the new update, the firmware version 2.006, is messing with the AquaCal somehow where it doesn't communicate. Switch back to your old firmware like what I just showed you, and you'll be back in business, baby. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not sponsored by AquaCal. I'm not sponsored by Pentair. I just want you guys, in case your pool is not within the warranty period, that you don't have to call a service guy out and get charged for something that's so easy to fix on your own. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please leave some comments. Tell me what you like. Ask me some questions. It really helps me bring future content. Until then, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. John the Pilot, see ya!